All right, Dr. Wade's here right. is gonna show us how to wrap Sparky's hot spot paw. Sparky's ready for her. What would you like to tell the, the girls about this cone? <laughs> okay, so for the cone, what, so what Alicia and I have done, just so everyone can see, is we've kind of strung string around so that the cone and the collar stay together. So hopefully this will prevent her from getting the cone off by itself. Um, I know everyone is very sad about the cone, and Sparky's sad about the cone, and it's no fun. Um, but even, I know, I know how sad it feels to see her in it, but you guys need to really make sure that if you take it off, you're watching her the whole time. So, <laughs> um, so don't let her go, you know, 60 seconds even extra without the cone because she will take that opportunity to lick this spot and we're just never going to get it better. So you can see right now it's about um, like an inch and a half wide and it's kind of oozy. It looks like it kind of extended a little around the side this time um, since Wednesday, ah. since Wednesday, which is kind of quick. Um, so she's, she's getting to it at some point somehow. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to clean it, I'm going to scrub it, and then I'm going to do a little alcohol swab. I'm going to put on her, her genomycin ointment, and we're going to see if we can't get this thing better. So I just let alcohol dry. I did a really good scrub. Um, what you guys can do is soap and water and let it dry. Um, and then put on this genomycin ointment. So I'm just going to put a little layer with gloves on, clean gloves, across the whole thing. And then I'm going to add, she has these couple new spots over here which I just noticed today. So I'm going to put a little bit on those too. And then what I'm doing today, you guys will not be doing this part but I'll show you. This is called Tegaderm. So it's like a, kind of like a second layer of skin. Also, it's really hard to get stuff to stick to fur. But we're gonna try our best. She's shaking. Sparky, it's okay. So this is not usually ideal for hot spots because it's not gonna let it breathe. <laughs> But we're gonna do this for one day and see if we can't kind of kickstart this healing a little bit more. Okay, so what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna put a layer of this um, white gauze around her foot. So start with one end, whatever side you wanna start on, and then you're gonna wrap around. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. A couple times. Now this I'm not putting on really tight, but I'll show you the next layer is gonna go tighter. So I put a few layers around there. I'm gonna cut this off and then I'm going to tape the edges of it so that it kind of stays in place. And it'll kind of stick there to itself a little bit. And this is a little hard to do in gloves, but still use the gloves to do it all, just to make sure we're not transmitting anything from our fingers to her. She doesn't need, <laughs> she doesn't need extra problems. <laughs> okay, so one around the top. Again, this is not tight. We really, really want to be careful to not put um, anything too tight around the foot because what we can do is cut off circulation and cause necrosis at the toes so the skin will start dying down here. So that is not very tight. Now, the next layer, this is called vet wrap. So this stuff, this stuff can go really tight. It's, um, by can, I mean it's possible for it to get really, really tight. I'm gonna show you how to make sure it's not too tight because this is a layer that I see people mess up on most because it can get so tight yeah. and constricting. So what we always do is we start from the toes and we're gonna move, we're gonna move upwards on her. 
because if we move from here down, we're gonna start constricting, 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 and usually that tends to cut off blood supply. It gets too tight down by the toes. So we're gonna start here. I'm just kind of laying it around. I'm putting it just over the tape layer because I don't wanna cut off, I don't wanna have too many points of pressure all at one spot on her foot. Mm -hmm. So I pull this out and then you're gonna kinda let it relax and fall over itself. If you want, you can, you can pull it around and leave two finger spaces and then let go to make sure you're not putting too much pressure. That's a good idea. So we're gonna go around, two fingers. Do you wanna feel, Alicia, how, sure. what it feels like, just so you know how tight I'm pulling it? Okay, and then you, when you move your fingers, that's it. Because we don't, we don't need a lot of pressure, we just need it to stay in place. And then once I get, you just need a layer, kind of like one single layer is fine. Um, and then we're gonna cut it off. Like I said before, it kind of sticks to itself, so you don't need to tape it. You can kind of just scrunch it together. And then um, just to make sure that you've done it right, regularly during the day, I want you to feel her toes. Make sure they don't feel really cold. Now today it's cold out, of course, yeah. so they're a little chilly, but you don't want them to feel cold because that means she's not, or swollen. Good morning. Because that means she's not getting enough blood supply to her toes. Okay. Okay.